Hi guys, we quite often get asked questions that require the help of an expert and let me say that trying to find a real expert in this field is not easy, not someone that's got real life experience mixed with credible professional background. But today we introduce Ash, who is an expert, a real life-size accredited experienced professional and a credible expert in the field of UAVs. Over the coming weeks he will introduce us into the world of hobby drone racing. It's pretty exciting, pretty much edge of your seat stuff and absolutely amazing to watch. So if you're ready to move up from the Phantom, stay tuned to some amazing segments coming up. But today he starts at the beginning and explains what FPV is and what it's used for. Yeah, what we're using are these lightweight carbon fibre quadcopter frames. Um, what we have is a camera on board um, transmitting back to a set of goggles that we're wearing. Uh, and basically we're flying as if we were seated on board the aircraft. So a group of us get together, we, uh, we race these things around, kind of like your, your pod races from uh, Star Wars or something like the, the Formula One. Um, so very high speeds and, and very tight tracks. Depending on how you sort of set up, um, something that's specifically set up for racing in a, in a higher voltage and a, in a very small frame, you can get up to about 200k an hour. Well, Fat Shark itself is just a brand. Um, there's actually quite a few different brands out there in the market now. Fat Shark's probably the most well known. Um, uh, what they are is um, a, a set of glasses, battery operated, of course. They've got a couple of little LCD screens that sit inside. These, of course, line up with your eyes. And what happens is it's got an antenna and a, and a receiver, kind of like your TV. And what happens is, is from on board these machines, we're transmitting video out. It's coming through the air, being picked up by your um, Fat Shark goggles and, and then displaying the video inside on the, on the little LCD screens. What it means is, is A, it's nice and quick. So you can just grab yourself a, a set of goggles, a quad, and a controller and go off for a day of fun. So you're only limited by the number of batteries you have. There are different options, screens, etc., in these things, but for, for most of us that just want to go down the park for, for half an hour of fun, um, they just can't be beat. And um, what it's giving is a nice immersive feeling. So basically, it's as if you're sitting on the front of this, these little quadcopters. Uh, definitely the fun factor uh, and, and the immersion as well. So flying line of sight, absolutely entertaining and, and, and there's a lot of fun to be have. But uh, when you can sort of take it to that next level where you can dodge in and out of trees and, and through gaps and uh, basically have a substantially longer sort of flight range. Um, so depending on your, how, how you set up, most of these little things are around sort of five or 600 metres. Um, of course, being safe and, and having a... Uh, person sitting with you to, to watch and, and keep a track of what you're doing while you have your goggles on uh, and of course when you crash they they typically know where you are um, but what it means is, is that for most places you're also complying with the rules having that person watching for you a spotter yeah and that's probably the most common common thing they, they they're called as a spotter Yeah, there's, there's at least three major brands um, available um, and, and quite a few sort of minor brands of, of, of different and most of the companies have a range inside their glasses. So uh, for someone like myself that has really narrow eyes, um, Fat Shark works really well for me because I can adjust my screens in really close together. Some of the other brands, um, Boscam, etc., are, are much better for people that wear glasses. So um, because of the way the Fat Sharks are sort of moulded, they're no good for somebody that wears glasses typically. Yep. Um, some of the other brands are quite a lot larger and allow you to wear your glasses. 